I will be comparing each major setting for graphics and performance differences and giving you my optimized settings. So I have tested the game for a few hours today and here is what I think. But before we begin, I would like to thank Ubisoft for providing me with access to this game. The Crew Motorfest on PC is a generally well optimized game. It has an okay number of graphic settings, but it has one major issue that really bothers me and will probably bother you too. It has a max FPS cap of 60. That's right, a game coming out in 2023 made by a AAA developer with good previous track records on their PC ports somehow managed to make a game that has a 60 FPS cap on PC. Now that I've finished ranting about this issue, let's move on to the comparisons and I will jump in when there is something important to note. Texture filtering does not seem to be working right now. I have made sure to restart the game after applying the changes and still there is no difference in FPS or image quality. Geometry quality from my testing seems to affect the level of detail on distant objects and models. And after testing multiple scenes, I could barely tell the difference when going from medium to high or ultra. The environment setting seems to have a subtle impact on the image quality, affecting shading on foliage and other models, especially at a distance. The terrain quality is an odd one, because Low and medium seems to look the same, while high and ultra also look the same, but with tessellation seems to be enabled on them. Testing volumetric effects was a tricky one. Because the sun changes position every time I change the setting, therefore I couldn't get an exact comparison. In terms of the volumetric quality, I couldn't tell the difference between any of the settings. But what matters here is the performance, which I could replicate exactly with the game's built-in benchmark. And it seems that Ultra has a noticeable impact on performance. And now moving on to depth of field, I tested both gameplay and cutscenes, and I couldn't tell the difference in image quality, because there seems to be very little if any depth of field effects implemented in the game.
This game is so well optimized that my RTX 3060 at 1080p barely dipped below the 60fps cap. Therefore, to test this game's performance, I chose to use a 4K resolution with a 75% internal resolution scale which comes out at around the 1600p native resolution. Using my optimized settings, you can see that this game is not really that scalable. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing, only because this game's base performance is really high. I would also like to mention that this game doesn't appear to suffer from any stuttering or long loading times, while having high base performance and no apparent CPU bottlenecks.